Hi, hello. In this video, uh, what we are going to see is a documentation script which is originally made by David and uh, now it has been updated or enhanced by Paul. So um, this is Paul's readme file. Uh, these are the things he updated in David's script. So I'm going to try the script in my test environment. These are the examples provided by uh, Paul. So this is very useful. I love this, these two, but in this video I will be trying only these two. So let's try this out. Paul has done an excellent work uh, to enhance the script with new features which are available in the latest version of SSCM. I have launched a power Windows PowerShell with admin rights, okay, and I have full admin access on my SSCM environment. And this is the this is the example which I am going to try now. The first example, company name I will provide a note SSCM and enter and it, the documentation title page won't be having any image, okay. So I am not expecting that because I am using the first script as I first example as I mentioned before. If you want to create and report with company logo then I would suggest you to use example 3 or example 4. So just enter. Let's wait for a couple of minutes. So don't be like me. So the script got completed around uh, 11.34 but my lab enrollment is very very small in your production enrollment it may take longer time this is just a summary documentation that is very quick and if you go to the detailed documentation that may take more time let's try the detailed documentation as a next step before that uh, we, uh, we will look into the documentation this documentation first This is pretty nice. As you can see, use for example one. Probably that is going to end up with uh, Paul's name. This is the table of content. If you click on here, it will directly take you to that particular page. So this is pretty nice uh, format. And he removed the dependency of Word. That is pretty nice and useful because most of the SSCM servers doesn't have um, Word installed. So this is pretty nice information. Super. So this is just a summary, and you can see how much details it's collected for the summary. So in the next example, he said like uh, to use this, trying to use this command list all information company name it is asking for company name now this is the um, and so it's cre started creating documentation Make sure uh, if you are running a summary, you make a copy of that summary file in a, in another folder because if you, if you run it, it will overwrite the previous one. So for example, like I run uh, the first example and it created a same uh, file, cm documentation html file. Now I run the sec command, uh, second example with list list all information uh, parameter so what happened is it overwritten the previous documentation file so my recommendation would be to copy the summary file to another folder if you want to save that file so you can see the the file sizes keep getting increased so that means the documentation process is still going on Let's see what is the status. Okay, I got some errors. Only like uh, three minutes to complete this, but I'm not pretty sure whether it took all the information or not. So I will check the script in another environment also. Probably if there is any 
an issue with the script we can always contact uh, Paul. I have seen a lot of feedbacks and uh, a replay on his uh, blog. So he is pretty quick in replaying. So if you have any if you have any questions and if you see any errors probably it's better to contact him through his blog. Overall it took three minutes to complete it and to make a detailed uh, documentation about my SSEM lab enrollment it is pretty small so it's pretty useful as I mentioned uh, before uh, you should use this in your enrollment I, I would suggest you to run the script in your enrollment like monthly one so 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 it took over. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my YouTube channel if you have not yet and click on bell button to get notification about new videos. Bye bye.